another episode. In this episode, if you feature ko yung phone na binili ko. Ito yung ROG or Republic of Gamers Phone 6. So bago ang lahat, ito po, I'm showing you the box of the phone. The box design, as you can see, is very simple. Color black, medyo matte, and there are some words sa gilid. When I purchased this phone, it came with a freebie. And this is the freebie, the Aero Active Cooler 6. Without further ado, let's start with the unboxing. Actually, second unboxing. Inulit ko lang kasi matagal ko nang nabili yung phone eh. So for purposes of this episode, tinanbox ko ulit. So here is the first item inside the box, the AR Mission Card. Later in this episode, I will show you kung para saan yun. So, next item inside the box is the SIM card tray ejector pin. Then, we have a free phone case. This phone case is made of plastic, hard plastic, but it has a matte finish sa likod. And there are also accents of glossy black. Next, there is an Asus warranty booklet. And then this one is the phone's user manual. So under that first layer is now the phone. So as I told you, I've already unboxed this phone. So when I put it back, for the purposes of this video, hindi ko siya enough. So here I'm showing you the side of the phone. It does not have a curved LED screen, pero gayon pa man. Smooth naman yung edges. And here is the back. As you can see, these are the three cameras of the phone. I'll show you the specs of the camera and some pictures I took later. And here, nandyan din yung RGB lighting and the Dare to Play logo. Lastly, nandito sa side yung SIM card tray. And then... We go to the last layer of the box. So, dito, you can see the 65-watt Type-C charger. So, that is the cable and this is the adapter. So, it has an ROG logo and ROG na words or letters. So, that's it. Ito yung laman ng box. So, next to unbox is the ROG Aero Active Cooler 6. So here, inside this plastic, is the cooler. So this cooler is an accessory to the phone and it's very helpful when you're playing games. So for example, when I play Mobile Legends, I don't play without the cooler because it really helps in reducing the heat. Later, I will show you additional features of this ROG Phone 6 Aero Active Cooler. So, yan, you can see it can also serve as a stand when you expand the bottom. And inside the box, there is also a free phone case that is compatible with the cooler. So, yung kanina, yung phone case na free kanina, sarado yung likod. But this one, there is a hole. Hindi siya fully closed. And here is the Aero Active Cooler User Manual. So there, yan yung laman ng ating second box. So now, balik tayo dun sa AR Mission Card that I showed you dun sa unboxing. So para saan ba? O paano ginagamit yung AR Mission Card? So here I opened the native app on the phone. It's called the Armory Crate. And it opened sort of a story. Story game. And you will see later kung saan ginagamit yung AR Mission Card. So we have to scan the AR 
animation card and an amazing interactive VR will pop out. Don't worry, if this video is too small for you, I will upload a separate video that will bring to the screen and focus solely on the AR mission that is happening. Because of this AR mission, makikita ninyo yung first time na gagamitin ko yung air triggers. So there is a left and a right air trigger. And later in this episode, I will show you how I use it in ML. Now I will show you kung paano ikabit yung era active cooler sa phone. But first, let me put the free phone case that is compatible with the Aero Active Cooler. Why do I say it's compatible? Because when you use this phone case, you do not need to remove it. It will not get in the way of the phone and the Aero Active Cooler. The phone has two Type-C ports, one sa gilid and one sa ilalim. In order to attach the Aero Active Cooler, Insert the cooler doon sa Type-C port na nasa side. As I said before, the Aero Active Cooler is an accessory, it's not a device. At dahil doon, hindi ito nalulobat. It will only turn on once you attach it to the phone. But it's simply, it is like a plug-and-play cooler fan. Next up, I will show you the bypass charging feature of the ROG Phone 6. The bypass charging feature can be accessed via the Game Genie when you open a game. The Game Genie can let you choose game-specific settings without going to the armory crate. So here I'm showing you the Game Genie. There, that is the bypass charging. You can see that on sa my left panel ng Game Genie. With the Aero Active cooler attached, you can see that I connected my phone to the charger via the Type-C port under the cooler. The bypass charging allows you to connect the phone to a power source, pero in this may charge na yung battery, the power will only be supplied to the system. In short, you can gain while connected to the charger, but it will not damage your battery. So more on the Game Genie. You can choose different gaming modes from X mode, Dynamic, Ultra Durable, and Advanced. You can also choose to pull up a real-time information about the phone. So dito, makikita in a click yung CPU and GPU loads or usages as well as the overall temperature of the phone. So let's go back to the air triggers that I showed you during the AR mission. The air triggers are typically used in shooting games like PUBG or COD or ROS. But here, I will show you how I was able to apply the air triggers in Mobile Legends. For this demonstration, gagamitin ko si Farsa. May nasave na kasi akong profile ng air triggers for her. my SS na si Farsa and yung full item build. So, ayan, nagpunta na agad ako sa mid. But then, I realized na ko, hindi ko pa pala na on yung air triggers. So, I brought up the game genie and I turned the air trigger on. Yan, naka-on na siya. So, before that, I set the right air trigger sa SS ni Farsa and the left air trigger sa flame shot. So, you can see just by tapping the right air trigger, ay na-activate na yung SS ni Farsa. This is why si Farsa yung nilagyan ko ng profile sa air triggers because yung SS niya ay area of effect. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-aim in order to hit the enemy. While the air triggers are very helpful para hindi na masyadong mahirap mag-click si game, they cannot be aimed. Kasi ayan, nandiyan lang naman sila sa taas and you cannot aim left or right. I will show you dun sa flame shot what I'm talking about. Nothing will 
will stop my justice. So if you tap the air trigger, this time sa left, lalabas yung path ng flame shot. But as you can see here, hindi mo siya may aim ng left or right. And that is because as I've mentioned, nasa taas lang kasi yung air trigger. You cannot move or scroll it around. So here, kung ano yung in-game setting ko for targeting an enemy, yan ka din ang ito-follow ng flame shot. Ibig sabihin, if you want to aim the flame shot sa kalaban katulad ng gagawin ko dito, moving or tumatakbo si Silong, you still have to use the flame shot by clicking it sa phone screen. Hindi naman madidisable yung on-screen click kahit natapon ng air triggers. Now that I have given you a glimpse of some of the features of this phone, I'm gonna show you some pictures and videos that I took using the phone's camera. As I've shown you, the phone has three cameras. Although hindi mo siya pwedeng i-compare sa picture quality with the likes of the Samsung S23 or ng iPhone 14, para sa akin ay pwede na. The main camera is a flagship Sony IMX766 15-megapixel wide-angle camera. The second is a 13-megapixel ultra-wide camera. And the third is a 5-megapixel macro camera. The video quality is okay din naman for me. The max resolution of the videos is at 8K at 24 frames per second. Before I end this video, I'm just gonna show you the RGB lighting and the illuminated Dare to Play logo sa likod. Ang settings nito ay makikita din sa Armory Crate. Dito, sinet ko siya to go with the music. Isn't it cute? 